Hey guys, it is Jess. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm actually not going to talk about the build a whole lot because I have a story and I feel like when I have a story I should tell that story. Um, so just in case you kind of knew or you didn't know, I started off doing speed builds where I'd just talk about stuff and stories and all that kind of stuff and then I very quickly realized that I have a very boring life, very few stories to tell and therefore I was going to have to start talking about the build. So lately I have been talking about the build and if I had a story I would kind of tell it at the start of the build. So today's build's only short so I'm going to just tell a story and if I can then talk about the build I will but I suppose I should just mention something about the build first. I don't really know what to mention though. It's a cute little cozy home thing. It's uh, it's, yeah, I also kind of built this a while ago and I don't really remember much about it. So that's the other reason why I don't want to talk about it. But anyway, let's just get into the story. So get your, I don't know, like your mugs ready or something because uh, the tea's about to be spilled. Well, it's probably not that interesting. But anyway, so Back when I was in, um, I'm going to go by like year number because I'm in Australia and high school for us is year 7 to 10. High school in like other places is different years and everything. So when I was in year, like high school year 7 to 10, I had like a big group of friends and then we all went to a different school for year 11 and 12. So we all maintained our friendship and everything, um, but I guess in some ways we did start to kind of um drift apart a little bit just because we weren't you know like in the same school anymore and we all had new interests and anyway 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 so we probably started drifting apart a little bit in year 11 and 12 and then when school finished maybe like a year or so after school finished we actually ended up having this big falling out and um it was just one of those things where I think that I was probably more the victim, but everyone, you know, like there's two sides to every story. Everyone's going to have an opinion on it. And it was one of those things where I can definitely acknowledge I did do things wrong. And I can see that, um, you know, like it, we just had a falling out. Um, it just happened. We were all awful to each other and that kind of thing. So there's not really any like drama in that part of it. Um, but then also like on top of that, we're also just like young and anyway. So we had a big falling out. Um, I ended up really only having a falling out with two of the people in the group. One of them who used to be my best friend. And then um, after that, we all just stopped talking because it was kind of like you can't really just have a fight with one person and not the other. So I ended up losing like an entire group of friends. And as I said, like it, it just happened and I don't really think... Like, of course, I feel like the victim or more like the victim, but I'm sure that they feel exactly the same. So, yeah, I just I don't think it was one of those things where any we, we just were probably not very nice to each other. Anyway, you live, you learn, you whatever. So um, I was looking through some photo albums. I think this is how it all started. Yeah, I think I was like looking through some photo albums and um my mum does like scrapbooking and stuff so I was looking through these photo albums and she ended up bringing out this photo album that had um photos of my 18th birthday and all of my old group of friends were there and I remember looking at the photos and just kind of thinking it's really sad that you know we were so close we were close all through high school and all through like our teenage years and especially the one that was my best friend like we went through so much together I mean sort of there wasn't a lot of drama but like you know what I mean like it's a big chunk of your life to spend with someone and then because of like one silly falling out when you're like 18 you just never talk again and I was like you know it's actually really sad that it happens that way and it happens all the time and it kind of just played on my mind a little bit how it was like you know is it really worth ha like losing an entire group of friends over one thing that happened ages ago? And then I started thinking about it and I realised I don't actually remember what happened. So even if I did want to sit here and like, you know, like, oh my god, we had this fight and this is what happened. I actually don't remember what happened. It was that long ago. And that tells me it's probably something pretty dumb. So anyway, we, yeah, we had a falling out and... Yeah, it was when I realised that I don't actually remember what happened that I started thinking maybe I should try and, like, reach out to them and 
see if maybe they wanted to just catch up or something. And I figured, like, I didn't have anything to lose or gain. Like, if they didn't want to do that, well, that's totally fine. I'd understand, you know, we had a pretty big falling out. But if they did want to hang out, then maybe at the very least we could all just be on good terms again. And best case scenario, we could all become friends again. Because everyone, we all live pretty close together. Um... And I see one of them at the shop all the time and we actually just avoid each other and it's really awkward and I see her family, like her mum and her dad and her sister and it's just kind of like I don't know how to react and if anything, I'd really just like to be on good terms with her so that when we see each other in the, sto like, in the store, we don't have to like run the other way, <laughs> we can smile at each other. So anyway, I messaged them and I messaged two friends first. I wanted to like leave my best friend for last because we had the biggest sort of falling out. So I messaged like two of the first friends and just basically said, you know, blah, 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 um, sad we're not friends, blah, 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 like something like that. And they both came back. I'm going to call them um, A and B because I'm not ever going to remember names. So A and B came back straight, like pretty much straight away. And they were like, yeah, you know what? I totally agree. So A was like, um, that, you know, like, we've all grown up and, like, I don't even remember half the stuff that happened. We should catch up sometime. And then person B was like, I totally agree. It was so long ago over something so small. It's really sad how it ended up. Um, thanks for reaching out. Let's hang out. So that went really well and we decided that we would meet up in a couple of weeks. Um, so then I ended up messaging my best friend, my old best friend. I had to add her on Facebook first because I think that she blocked me. This is back when like you Facebook blocked people when you had an argument with them. <laughs> anyway, so I added her back onto Facebook as a friend and she accepted. So I was like, okay, that's a good sign. You clearly don't hate my guts. And I ended up messaging her and being like, hey, I haven't spoken to you in ages. How have you been? Blah, 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 stuff like that. And then I was like, hey, look, and pretty much said what I'd said to the other friends. Like, you know, I know we had a big falling out. I know stuff's happened, but, you know, would you maybe want to catch up or sometime, put it all behind us and just kind of whatever. And then she was just like, yeah, no, I think the same as you. And um, when are you guys having this lunch? Because I'm more than happy to come and join. Okay, so that's where we left it. Everything was like super positive, super amazing. And it seemed like all of these friends wanted to catch up with me again. So we, I left it a week and I messaged them because we decided that we would organize something a little bit closer to the weekend that we wanted to do something. So I waited a week. So it was a week before the weekend that we planned to do something. And I messaged them all together, right? And I was like, hey, are you guys fr still free this weekend? You know, like, do you want to just go get some dessert or something? And then person B, so person B um, is really nice, actually. Well, I think so anyway. Person B, <laughs> um, she was like, yeah, I'm free. Um, I can do this time and this time. And person B and I kept on like kind of messaging. And then she was like, okay, cool. Let's decide on this day at this time. Let's just wait and see what the others say before we like set everything in concrete. Right? That is where we left it. Person B was like, yeah, I'll wait and see what the other said. And then because it was in a group message on Facebook, the other two, person A and C, had read the messages about us organizing this thing and just never replied. So then it was really awkward. And I was like, hang on a second. Like, these people were, like, pretty, like, or well, I felt that they were, like, keen to meet up and seemed pretty, like, into it and everything. But then all of a sudden, for them to, like, read all the messages and not even acknowledge them. Like, not even be like, hey, I'm actually busy this weekend, can we postpone or something. They just said nothing. Just, like, left me on red, said nothing. And I was like, that's really weird. And I'm, like, thinking back on all my actions and I'm like, did I do something wrong? Like, I don't know what's going on. So I thought, okay, maybe they kind of were trying to be polite when they said we should meet up, but they don't actually want to. And I was like, you know what, I'll just leave it, it's fine. So a whole week went by, like the weekend was supposed to go out, you know, came and went and I was like, yep, all right, whatever, it's not meant to be, I can just forget about it, at least I tried, yada yada. Then person B, so person B is the one who'd been talking to me the most, person B just randomly out of the blue messaged me and she was like, hey Jess, I'm sorry for not getting back to you about catching up on the weekend, person A and C, um must have just gotten busy and never replied and then I forgot. This weekend it's flat out for me but we should organize something soon. I'd totally be down for dessert on a weeknight if you're free. What works best for you? 
and I was like, nah, that's okay. I'm super busy this weekend too, but you know, dessert during the week would be fine. And then she was like, yep, all right, awesome. Like I can do Monday or Wednesday. Um, and then we've arranged a time. So I'm meeting up with person B at like 8.30 for dessert. And she said, <laughs> awesome, let's aim for 8.30. Actually, no, hang on. What did she say? Oh, yeah. She's like, I have a soccer game, so we'll make it 8.30. And she was like, I'll see if person A and C are free as well. And I'm like, what is going on? So I feel like this whole thing could be a bit of a mess. But pretty much I messaged all three of them. They all replied that they were keen to meet up. But then only one person, like, followed through with it. And then the other two left me on red. And now the one that originally followed through with it, I'm meeting up with next week. But I don't know what's going to happen. It's like, do the other two hate me? And this person B, like, actually does really want to catch up. But if her entire friendship group doesn't like me and she's the only one that likes me, that's just never going to work. Right? So I don't know what's going to happen. And if anything, I just want to go because I'm curious. I want to see what's going to happen. Like, I'm really, like, what's going to happen? I don't know. I have to go. I have to find out. And that's my story. And I'm so happy that that went for like the entire voiceover. But like, what do you guys think? Like originally I felt so good, like really just getting over the stuff from the past and like reaching out to these people. And then I was like confused because I pretty much felt like they ditched me. And now I'm back to like being kind of happy I reached out, but also confused. And a very, very small part of me is like, what would happen if I went there and it was all some big joke and they like went there, like they arranged this thing for me just to like not show up or something. And I really don't think that that would happen. I don't think that like this person who I've organized to meet up with is like that at all. But just the whole thing to me is really weird. And it's nearly like person B was covering for the other two because I don't know, like she nearly apologized on behalf of them. And I was like, Eek, like, do they hate me? What is going on, guys? I'm so confused. But comment, like, what you think or something. I don't know. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, next speed build, I'll probably have, like, an update, maybe. Who knows? I'm about to stalk, stalk into screenshots. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that makes sense. Screenshots coming up. Here they are. Okay, guys. <laughs> Thanks again for watching. Catch you on the next video. Bye! <laughs>